he's not going to hear these sirens and gunshots and, you know, he's not going to come out of the building one day and there's a body laying there or something. Honestly, it saved my life. You know, I, I have no doubt that I'd probably be dead or in jail or something if I would have stuck, you know, in the situation I was in. Seahawks rookie Gary Gilliam was seven when his single mom took him out of their family apartment in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and brought him to the Milton Hershey School, a residential school for lower income families. While Hershey, Pennsylvania may be the sweetest place on earth, the memory of that day is still sour. She was like, you know, I'll be back, Gary. I was like, okay, like, you can go play on the swings, whatever. It started to get dark and then my house parent came out and he was like, hey Gary, you know, it's time to come in and take a shower and get ready, you know, for bed. And I was like, no, like, what are you talking about? Like, my mom's coming. I told him I'll be back. I didn't return. <laughs> but if he knew that I was going home, he would have never stayed. And I couldn't see his face. watch him cry so I just left I remember crying like every night I was like the youngest kid in my student home most of them were like middle or high schoolers so they would see me crying like oh like suck it up you know get over it. like you'll be fine the school named for the famous chocolatier who founded it is a cost-free private boarding school where academics and athletics go hand in hand Gary excelled in both by the time he was 10, you know, he's looking at me like, I can do this. You know, my education is more important than your tears, mom. It got to the point where she was asking me to come home, and I was like, no, like, this is what's best for me, you know, what's best for the family. He really made a goal in his mind to actually want to be a, a 4.0 student. That became a goal, and he achieved it. He was not a kid who was, you ever had to redirect. Gary was with you in the conversation. His brain was like a sponge picking up what was going on and what we had to do. When did you know that you had made the right decision? When he walked across the stage. <laughs> Gary graduated. And, um, I said I did something right. I did it. It was the right decision. Gary made the decision to stay close to home and attend Penn State. His location may have changed, but his track record for success continued. And it's Gary Gilliam dragging the Ohio State defenders. I mean, how many kids play Division I football and get three bachelor's degrees? He's been able to take those work habits and make him work as a student now as an NFL athlete. An undrafted rookie who found his way to Seattle and the spotlight in the biggest game of his career to date, the NFC Championship. Just about the time the ball was snapped, I spotted where he was at. They had him on the wing. I'm thinking to myself, all right, Gary, look it in, tuck it away, and as we used to say here, exaggerate possession. And he did exactly that. I'm jumping off my couch. My daughter's like, Gary, yeah, yeah, we're freaking out. This was just so unexpected. I lost my mom. <laughs> you know, I heard from probably every one of my house parents and teachers. I'm looking forward to being able to go back there and share that, you know, that experience with them. Gary has already shared his NFL experience in the place he still calls home. He visited Milton Hershey on the Seahawks bye week in October. Keep your grades up? Yeah? You lying to me? I'll go check. Gary Gilliam? <laughs> it's a success story, I think. Something for people to look up to. There's a lot of opportunities for writers, but we never really see it, you know, in action. From the time he first embraced Milton Hershey all the way until now, an alum who may return as a Super Bowl champion, Gary Gilliam was always going to find a way to soar. I'm not surprised that Gary's successful. If you told me it would have been with Seattle Seahawks, I might have said, really? Oh, well, okay, that makes sense. He's a football player. But I'm, I'm not surprised he's really successful at 24. There's a recommendation we had written up for an award back when he was in eighth grade. It's worded something along the lines of, we know Gary's going to make his mark on the world, and it's going to be something great. The heartache, the tears, the sleepless nights, it was worth it. It was worth it.